Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Hey everybody, Son of Beast here and Terry Crews here. Welcome to the Stanley Cup Playoffs of 2024 on EA Sports. Here's how this game works. Each team will be competing in between for the range of each standings that made it to the postseason. The teams that will start in between will be the top rating teams facing against the lowest seeds team of the team or the wild card positions in between of those matches. Each game will be seven games if necessary from games five to seven. One of each games will happen to be here in between from the start of the the first ones to take for games one and two before the next games in the lower spot, three and four. Each game will be playing here for four wins in this game. The last one who does so will be able to determine to move on to the next round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Other teams that will be able to play in there will be playing in between for the matches. No matter how hard, how strong they are, we are here to present that we are concluding this one to go with the continuous overtime for the Stanley Cup playoffs. As for this moment, each team will be able to determine the last one who makes it in with the overtime winning goal moves on in each game. They will have won. Each series counts will be the best four out of six of the matches. And each ours as followed. Keep that one in strength and there will be much more coming in between for the Western Conference and the Eastern Conference then the last one will be the Eastern Conference Finals and the Western Conference Finals before they meet in the Finals. So it's that time as right now a new change job has been changed differently. This time we decided to do for a little bit new changes since you've already heard the goal horns we are putting this one in for our, for our new season and yes the playoffs if you all expected that all the goal horns will be turned off and this will be edited here right on the computer media. So if you have a chance to see what you can hear it, you'll see a difference in between from the game and from the video editing. But enough of that one, let's get started off with the Stanley Cup playoffs. First matchup is Winnipeg Jets facing against the Colorado Avalanche. Let's meet your starting lineups for, for the visiting team of the Winnipeg Jets. Connor Hellebuck is one of our dialed in on his maximized save when it's on a roll. He makes it into a bigger moment of the drive, but he does it on his own. He makes a great save, and this will be the starting goaltender for the Winnipeg Jets. We also have his Kyle Connor. He has wheels that will have his elite skating with puck vision that will try to keep this thing right ahead. He might go faster than that. Other players are Josh Morrissey with the seeing eye ability, then it's Mark Skyfella with the big rake to make a great drive to the net, and Nikolai Ellers with an ankle breaker, the great deeks at higher speed. That will be all for everything on the Winnipeg side. And now let's meet here on the team of the Colorado Avalanche. Starting goaltender will be Alexander Georgiev. Nathan McKinnon has an unstoppable force. Elite strength with the putt, and will start things off on its way towards its victim to make a credit more countable. Instead of ankle breaking, he wants to put a force front into this. As you may already know, last season may be the changing difference, but this time, this season, we'll see how well he does if he gets there through. Kale McCarr has an elite edges that has a directional changes right in between. And finally, Miko Rantanen is a snipe one. The early puck settling is to keep on to keep going in and under. We'll see how well he does to keep an eye on it. Now, let's get into Ball Arena. Standing by, I have is one of our first commentaries of the crew. We have is OJ, along with Boomer, and Tyler Beats. Center Rice will be me phone replacing it back to go in as for the season's been concluded. But he's ready to get back into work here and see what he can do for the Stanley Cup playoffs. Oh yes, that's definitely true. And we'll see you all later for the post-game show 
as this will be in between the three star players of the game and the total statistics. Let's get going in Mile High. Here we go. Hey everyone, it's OJ. At Mile High, we're ready to start the arena here for the Colorado Rats and the Winnipeg Jets here at Bowl Arena. It's our great season to start things off here for the Stanley Cup playoffs in the third season. And here we go. We start things off now along with me and Boomer and Tyler. This is NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. We start things off. We have his Lakotan on a shot. He scores! What a first goal for Lakotan! And he has his first goal of the night over the Winnipeg Jets. The amazing that this one has to be turning to be in between of Lekman and he made that great goal and proved very well to work that run. In between your range, he beats the goaltender. What a start range for the Axe. You know how crazy it is. This is like a crazy one you ever seen. The Avalanche made that when they could stop one to take over it from the Winnipeg Jets. They never been playing it like this before. But in that case, they wanted to do something a lot more to have against. See, comes up by Georgia. Devin Toes takes it to McKinnon and now finds McCarr. McCarr passes to McKinnon. Stopped by Gullibuck. That'll be his first save in the playoffs with under 19 minutes. On with the start one. Here's Meatball and he will take it in for McKinnon and Hellebuck. McKinnon has a lot of his unstoppable force. He has been taking all of his contribution to take all of his unstoppable on the forcing to deny that one to keep going from here. I know that Connor Hellebuck has it dialed in, but he has it all covering out if he gets it right in between the good saves. This impact is worthless, but there might be one chance that can take all for its head-to-head -head matches. Save again by Hellebuck. You know, an easier way to do this one here, it's all that you can't do. You can't try to keep that one eye on the attacker if you're looking at it. Joe gets going to hold on with that puck with only under 18 minutes. And we're ready for it, our face-off. We are underway here in Ball Arena. Avalanche had a start goal with a 1-0 lead in the first game. The win will put up for Winnipeg. Woods got the puck, now finds Colin. Avalanche on the full pressure zone and now on its way down to the Winnipeg Jets side. Connor shot. Saved by Alba. Manson. Right toward the right. Monahan's got that puck stick lifted. Here's Eiffel. He will have that puck. Pass is broken up and now he finds again to O'Connor. O'Connor with the cut in. Dylan's got that puck. I follow with the run taken over by Monahan. Monahan on his way down. Passes and I follow. Saved by Georgia. 16-29 to go in the first period. Still a lot of time left for the period range. Officially getting set here, ready for the face-off. It's still 1-0 for Colorado. Beyond on his way down. It's a bend, but they're gonna not count it. Let's have a look again. There's one way that's a problem for Viang, and there was like a deflection. There could be an interference on that call. There might be a changing up that I think that Lowry was trying to do. He's trying to put a stop on Johansson. That might be a close call, but let's see what they signal it is. And they counted it as a goal. Adam Lowry will have his first goal in the playoffs. They are tied up. Well, you can see what happens now because Adam Lowry just made that one with a good range. You know, it's a hard one that they're trying to like do for all but a reason, and this is like not a great optional choice. But I was really saying it, it was like not too well enough for Lowry to try to pick it off. But if there was an interference on that call, they would have to signal it if there was a no goal in the play. But they got it all, they tied it up. Jurgen makes a stop. Gerard's gonna play it into the attacking wall. Beyond got it. Johansson recovers the puck and now back near away to the ab zone, to the jet zone. Streaky game in the middle. Hellebuck makes a stop. They draw it right into the wing on the right side. This back is broken up. Paris to Gerard. 
Now he finds Manson. Manson on his way down toward the right slot. Moving middle. Stopped by Golubak. That will be his first attempt to take the save with foul goal made. They are ready to get this one faced up. Ready for another one. This is a game ready to get started for the faceoff. It is still a tie game. Win it back up one after Colorado goal in the play in the first early period of, of the game. Here's Branton. Upshot gets carried out and it goes right to Morrissey. Connor's got the puck and now with only 14 15 to go. Here's Morrissey. He goes down. Connor over to Scheifele. Scheifele lost that puck and he goes back again to Morrissey. Morrissey to Connor blocked the shot. There's too many bodies in the way, but he had to leave the clear out. The easier one to make that move is to try to like keep the puck out of sight. You never want to get that one in there. But there was a lot of great attackers. They wanted to try to deflect the puck out to try to block the block the shots on goal. Look at that shot block. Velarde with the puck. 13 minutes to go in the first period. Now here's Johnson. Johnson on his way down. It will fire the puck, dump it out. Winnipeg Jets have that puck. Now find Schmidt. 12 39 to go in the first period. Schmidt has that recovered. Get back to our follow shot. This one stopped, and this one goes back to O'Connor. Here's Wood. Woods gets covered up in the uh, bench zone. Monahan to Sandberg. 12 minutes remaining in the first period. December gets to Eller shot. Saved by Georgia. He's going to hold it up here, ready for another face off coming up. You know the easier one that has to be like a big tackers. What a play make. That's a, like a hard one. But they're never going to slow down and you're never going to do one. The wing puts up for Motohan. He's still a shot. That goes wide. The car's got it now with only 11.40 to go in the first period. He passed deep to Cagliano. Cagliano jumps that puck out. The outs got it now. Back into Monopon over to Dylan. He's on a full break. Toward the middle. That gets broken up here by Toes as Cogliano will have that puck. In the middle shot. That one gets to flick it off the defender's stick and this one goes wide. You know, the hard part of it is not really easy. You know, when I just say this, that the defender is going to get really like a hard one to take out one the leap. But not to worry, they're going to have a lot of time to get this done. But they can't leave him alone. Saved by Gullibut! Rebound by Caragante! No one gets sent out! Cogliano with the punt! Tennis scores! Another goal for Colorado! Cogliano gets their lead up by one! That's what happens. Cogliano gets that one in there, you get the shot, you get it done. And watch that transition. He made that one clearly. Beating the goaltender, took his time, and he made that one. That is a hard one. He definitely had it all. Abs are breaking up the time chain, and now they're back up by one. Colorado wins the faceoff. Here's Manson, hasn't able to score in between or make the assisted count. Here's Dylan, covered up on the board. Dylan kicks it across, he now finds Bowen. Bowen again to Perfetti. Perfetti on his way down, looking for help. Spins across the middle, shot! Save again by Georgia. Hawk goes down, more seat again to Nemzikov. And now Dronin will have that puck. They got numbers here. That's blocked. Jordan finds Perry's. Saved by Hellebuck. A diamond three is stopped again. Just past the midway mark of the period. Two ones to score. You know, it's a great way to say it. The goaltender has been doing a lot of it. And kicking him off. They're putting up the pressure out there. I mean, he's trying to work hard. I mean, can't defend that. That shot's blocked. And it leaves on his own in the Jets territory. And now Manson will clear it. The abs are back in any transition. Now fine again to Rantanen. 
Eight minutes left to remain in the first period. Morrissey's got that puck. Now gives it again to DeMello. Over now to Connor. Connor making his way. This shot, final shot. Everyone gets ran over and now find Rantanen. Calling for backup. Rantanen. He finds the pass to Gerard. Now he gets again to McKinnon. Making a shot. Saved out by Connor Hellebrook. It's easier saved than this one happens. Not always you can tell what the timing does right. That's what Connor Hellebuck has been doing. Train on his career professionally. That's what gets the job done right away. After a save by Georgiev, it's a 2-1 game as the Avs are up by one. Puts a pass, finds Johnson, and Byram with the puck. Here he comes right towards the right. Eiffelo will have that puck again to Morrissey, and now Ellis will have it. 6.30 left to go in the first period. Shot! Glove by Georgiev. Here comes O'Connor. And we have a first delay penalty call. This will be on Winnipeg Jets. Colorado will start their advantage for the first power play of the night. You know, Morrissey doesn't happen to you with the slashing call. You never wanted to get that one offended. That's all you can care of. You can't get off of it if you can. First power play starts off for the Avalanche as this one's a 2-1 lead over the Winnipeg. The win puts up for the Winnipeg Jets as Dylan will dump the puck out into the Avs territory. And now with the start, here's Johansson. Passes to Ron over again to Colton. Colton's got the puck. Right to the slot. Hellebuck makes a save. 5.43 left to go in the first period as it's still a close game in between. You know, when I say that Connor Hellebuck doesn't have it all, he's been playing it for the last season as, as he's definitely been playing against the Golden Knights the last part of the playoffs of the season. This has happened to be most of it all the time. But I know he's trying to do for his one. It's most of it for he's trying to get it done. Hellebuck's going to hold the puck here with under 5-3 to go. Fans are back in, trying to look to see if there is a great shot opportunity as it's still up by one. Dylan wins the faceoff, and now Pionk will have to clear the puck out. The let's go out chance going to go loud as he finds Lekunin. Here's Jordan's shot. That went way off the mark. A never save by Hillebrook. This is an easier way to do this. Not even when you can do. You have to all maintain it on yourself to keep at a tight pace. Hellebuck stops to play about with just under five minutes in the first period. Now they're ready to do it again with another face-off coming in. Now with the win for the Avs with 35 seconds. Here's Rodney! Saved by Hellebuck! Oh, what a great play here! As Hellebuck stops the puck with only 4.41 to go. That's what you don't do. He's amazing at it. And I just really don't have to believe it. It's really what you can't do. You just don't take a lot of chances. I mean, that's what Hellebuck has been doing. Try to keep that one to stop the puck and bow. Puck clears out of the zone under 20 seconds in the power play. McCarr shot. Two. Two time stop. What a good rebound here by Hellebuck. Well, it's only 4.18 left and they're still looking to get a goal for the power play. Both teams have their eight face-off percentage with seven seconds in the power play. He's almost ready to get going. He scores! What a goal! That is perfection. What a power play goal here for Colton. And you never see when this is going to happen like that. That was when you put it in between to pass Hellaba right towards his hand slot. That starts things up right away, and you can definitely face that with the appearances. An extension run puts in as Johansson will have his first assist in the power play goal. He made that one up to start all. 3-1 of the score. Here's McCarr, cut it back. Sandberg takes the puck away, and now he finds Lowry. 
Lowry gets bumped up. Lowry back to the driver. He finds Sandberg. On a shot! Saved by Georgiev. 32 left to go in the first period. Still a 3 1 game. Now they're ready to do an our face off. It's coming down into the mark at the end of the first period. With the win for the Avs. And now McCarr will have it. Give off to Wood. Wood on his way down with a short save by Gulliba. It's easier called. You could just try to keep it in the mind on him. If that one puts in for the Trider, he was looking to see if the if Connor Hellebuck was trying to keep that save alive. You know, the hard and back is not always worth it. But don't get a judge of it. It's a hard one, but nobody has ever seen it like this before. Here comes McCarr with the 2 on one fast break. That shot gets blocked by Sandberg. Sandberg's gotten really well at it. I mean, he's really like a, an excellent star. You can definitely say what he does. It's great to have that one eye protection to keep it ahead. Here's Kyle Connor with under two minutes remaining in the first period. And now he gets up to side follow. Saved by Georgia. 143 left to go in the first period. So a lot of close, close battle range in between the American team and the Canadian team. So that fellow will win that face off. He gets pushed back. Lequinen's got it. Fouling along the board as DeMello will recover it. DeMello! That puck leaves his zone. And it now gets back to Connor. The Jets are back into the Avs territory. Look for Villardi's shot. Off again by Georgia with the pad. That is a tremendous save on that one. And this is like a biggest save nobody has ever seen it like this. But that's how you do to keep that one away from it. 30 seconds in the first period as McKinnon will have it. He loose that puck. Mortemont's got it now into the into the, the Avs territory. And a coming bound he scores. Sam Mortemont, his first goal in the playoffs. They're going back down by one. Look at this play, what happened. Because this was what happened to Mortemont. He made that slick cut. Even if you call for the last game in a regular season, he have definitely been doing this all over it. That's when you do that shot, you kick it in there, and you got a goal. The Avs are cutting down the extension down by one, as this one now comes into a close game in the first period. Three goals for Avs, two goals for the Jets. Here's Lequardet and now finds Brent today. And we'll lose that puck, and the shot goes wide. We end the first period. Three goals he made. And Sam John Mortahan had that goal earlier. We'll see how well he does when we come back after the break. We are on now to the second period of the Stanley Cup playoffs. And off we go. Camera's been fixed. We're ready to get this thing on to start. As we talked about it here before, there was a great battle in between they've done worthless. And there is no way that there has been showing off with a dignity right in between the goals. Let's have your takes here, guys. Well, the hard back and inbound is like not really like trying to be all over it from the avalanche. They've been scoring your first early on the period, first period. And then the next thing that happened is there was a goal on the other side that the Winnipeg Jets had. That was happened to be over Georgia. He made that one impactable. Not really telling them. But that reason is, not really helpful isn't going to help them make them score. That's a hard one that they're trying to do to keep that one eye aside. Yeah, I was really like happy enough. There was like a great uh, impaction that they're trying to do all for his but on Conanty to do our better play in the motion of this offense. I mean, because they're doing really well, I mean, they're, they're like kicking it up. Hopefully there might be another new close call this game in the first period. And, but hopefully other games might happen. But this one keeps on coming. And now Bianco will have it. The Winnipeg Jets are now back into the Avs territory. On a full pressure zone, I follow shot, saved by Georgiev. Just to start one for 17.44 to go in the second period, it's still a close game. 
Now, let's talk about this one here. Since the Winnipeg Jets have already played against the Minnesota Wilds, they have been trying to get over this. The first one comes to a start with a 3-0 lead in Game 3, but in Game 4, the Wilds had the answer back, and that one happened to be a close range in between. And then Game 7, it was happened to be one of them, they had it all. Minnesota was the better team that they played in the playoffs, but unfortunately, this season has already ended. Yeah, it's been really devastation, but I but I can really tell the faction that how well that the Minnesota Wilds are doing on their own perfectionary. They're like keeping it up the pace here. I mean, I really like that when, when the Winnipeg Jets are playing it at the right time, I mean, they do it on their own. The fast pace to go, the stronger they can get. Yeah, it's been pretty hard one, but you know, I was really like helpfuling to see what's going to happen. There might be another change off that there is another one coming in. The win for the Jets puts it up. He all get to Connor. Connor on his way down, find Velarde. Velarde goes down. McKinnon trying to work his off as Manson trying to look over it. Drolling passes to Manson. Along the board, along the center, here's Manson. Shoots, saved by Nullabuck. Dillon recovers the puck and with only 15 3 to go. Kyle Connor on his way down. Shoots again. Glove saved by Georgia. Here are the coming up games that will be happening later. So there will be a couple games in between the Eastern and the Western Conference. The next game we are about to be seeing is one of our big matchups. And they have ever been playing it before like they did in every other season. As we took go over from here, we have Florida Panthers facing against the Toronto Maple Leafs. We calling it from the last playoffs that they played, the Leafs win against the Tampa Bay Bolts, but it might be a tricky move that they can try to beat against the Florida Panthers. But this wasn't worth it. Because they wanted a rematch, they wanted to get it done, they got to show their love out of them. And then with the next game, we keep an eye on that one, as we have as the Edmonton Oilers facing against the Vegas Golden Knights, there at Edmonton, Canada. And after that one, we'll be off to a start off for Carolina and Philadelphia. And that'll be the end for the first day. And then the second game will happen. The Bolts will take on against the New York Rangers, following along with another game in between of the Washington Capitals facing against the Boston Bruins, then the Nashville Braves against the Dallas Stars, and finally the Kings versus the Canucks. That will be happening every game on here today and tomorrow, right between game one and game two. Eyebrow chop and blocked. Here's Cullen, he will have that puck right in range. Moves along the side, Morrissey gets over it, pokes it out. And now Eyebrow will have it over to get to Ellers. 12.50 left to remain in the second period. Tries to look for a cut, now he finds the Mello. Eyebrow on release man. The cannon wrister gets denied by Georgiev as McCarr gives it to O'Connor. That is a crazy one. And bounding that is like a hard one that you've seen. He scores! Being tied up! It's now Morrissey with his first goal in the playoffs. When you all call him for Josh Morrissey, he got a good extension. He made that one easier to make a tricky move. And he had that one slapping in there. He is wanting to take the rocket. And he just made that one in there to pass the goaltender. He made that one clear, and they're tied up. The Winnipeg Jets and Colorado Avalanche are tied up by three. Morrissey will have that puck win, and now he finds a follow again. Here's Ellers, gives the puck to Monahan, shot saved by Jurgen. He goes Bumble down. Mordehan battling along by I follow. Take another gift for the Avalanche. This McKinnon will have it. I follow shot. Good pass stopped by again by Julia. Here he comes. Here's Lycanen. Now pass to Red today. No offside has been whistled on Colorado. Now Piaf over to get a Mordehan. 11 minutes remaining in the second period. Try to cut him down, but it stayed out. 
Here's McKinnon, will have that puck. New Dryder has that puck recovery. Keeps it along the way, finds Lowry's shot. That gets deflected. The Dryder puck is stolen by Manson. Along the wing, along the center, saved by Hellebuck. New Dryder has that puck back. Makes a move in front. It's right over. What a save by Jurogiev. Another good stop. How did he get that one in time? That is the biggest play. Motionless is worthless. Don't judge that. Here's O'Connor. That shot's been blocked. Appleton will have that puck passing the midway mark of the period. Pass again to Lowry shot. Saved again by Jurogiev. Lowry gives a pass. Broken up by Wood. One-on-one -on -one opportunity for O'Connor. Slows it down, now finds McCarr's shot. That goes with another stop by Hellebuck. They're going over it. I've never seen it like this. Because, you know what? Hellebuck has been doing it all over us tonight, and I was expecting this was going to happen like that. This would be like a true thing that was everyone's idea. They're just going big banging. Take the worthless to the credit. Now O'Connor will have that puck with only 8.13 to go, as McCarr will have it. McCarr swings again. Connor got that puck steal. On his way down in the wing. Pass the side by scores! What a goal for Scheifele. The team gets up in the lead by one. That's got a good communication here after Kyle Connor gives it over again. Right again to Scheifele. He made his wheels workful, and he made that one possible. He made that one over again to Shifal, and he had that goal. That one turned to be like he almost blinded the goaltender, but that is great. You know, an easier way. Kyle Connor has his wheels performance, and he takes all of this for advantage. He made that one helpful and cheerful, and he doesn't have it all to keep on coming in. This might be a one chance if wheels can handle the loose and take it tight for Kyle Connor to pick up the assist for Mark Skyfellow and other players as well. We'll see how well he does in each game. Back to you. Here's Morrissey with seven minutes remaining in the second period of the game. Morrissey shot. That's blocked. Took a choppy one and now by Ram gets to Cogliano. He finds it past to Wagner. Wagner on his way down. Passing slot. Served by Kulipa. O'Connor now wanting to get Connor's puck out of here. Avalanche keeps their zone in the line. Finds again it by Ram. Blocked up and it's rebound. That goes traffic out of here as DeMello recovers it. The Jets are back into the offensive string. Skyfell looking for more. Connor shot. Good stop again by Georgiev as he goes down. Manson has that puck. In the inbound, finds again to Byram. Gets to Cogliano. Shoots! Caught by Pelopa. Oh, what a great reaction here for Pelopa. He's been like keeping an eye on it. What a save. He tried another Lowry shot. Oh, what a stop by Georgian. Under five minutes remaining in the second period. Looking like they want more. Now they're ready to do another face off. It's a 4-3 game, Winnipeg up front. The wing puts in for McKinnon. Here's Manson, gives it over again to Rantanen. Rantanen on his way down with the shoot, saved again by the Jark by Hellebuck. Manson, on a shot, good stop by Hellebuck, and that will clear it up with the puck with under 4 3 to go. They're keeping it over this, and they're trying to like, Stay out of the line. This is because it's called lockdown. It doesn't mean that the puck keeps on going in. He has to cover it before it comes in interference. Lowry wins the faceoff. Now dealing again to Pion. Oh, we're not in the Trider. The Trider lost that puck as Pion recovers it. On his way down. Good stop. What a save by Georgia with only 4 2 left. He has been pulling on for the big night. It's all what happens because Shiorgiev doesn't quit here. Because that's what happens you do. You don't try to mess it, don't try to take others. Now the win, Mullerheim, and there's a signal. They're calling a tripping on Lankwinen. 
that's going to be the Avalanche first penalty kill. It's not a good call because if something happens to Lekkerden, you're never going to get that one well enough. That's because they're signaling for the penalty. That's what happens. You don't get enough. First penalty kill will be on Colorado as the power play starts on for Winnipeg Jets. With the win for the for the Avs as he will fire it out. Pionk on his way down. Now he finds again to Velarde. Here's Velarde on his way down toward the right. Side for a shot. Good stop by Georgiev. What a save made. Oh, he's been terrific out there. What a save. I've just been really saying what's going on because there might be another change up if there's going to be coming along anyway. What a great help. Now putting the win for the Jets. Our shot saved and he scores. Nemstikov has his first goal and that will be their first power play for the Jets. Now look over here because Nemstikov got that one, get a good, good strike out of it. He got that good goal right in between the legs and he just tried to beat right in between. That is a great look. You made that one in there, make it clear, that's what you do to try to get rid of it. The Jets extend up by two as Cole Perfetti has that first assist of a night here in the playoffs of his game in bounds. Now looking for more if they can get another goal. Here's Pion. He goes down on the boards. One and on, pass is broken up, and he now finds O'Connor. O'Connor on his way down, he goes down. And now Wood, the Avalanche are back into the offensive zone shot. Take the fire risk, and it's stopped by Hellebuck. Dillon, pass to Ifella. Ifella on his way down with a two-on-one opportunity. The puck gets loosened as he gets cold and gets the man to over to Wood. Wood trying to scramble it, recovers it. Offsides the call on Avalanche, and we'll have a whistle to stop inbound. Going 2.16 to go. Win for the Jets. Dumella will have his own chance, and you now will have to give it over again. Here's Manson, who will have that fucking carry out. Under two minutes remaining in a second. McKinnon focuses his way, that one gets deflected off of the finger as Monahan recovers the puck. You know, it's not easy enough when you try to like, defend it because this is not what you do. You don't want to make that one defendable and worthless. Nearing down the end of the second period, it's a 5-3 game for the Winnipeg Jets. Here's Toes on his way down. McKenna rebound. That one's blocked up as Connor has it. They still have it back. Look to McCarr. Again, a run to the shot. That gets blocked it up as Connor has it recovered. Exiting to the Jets territory. We are under a minute in the second period. Looking to get a close game in the second. There's still a lot of time left. They really need to do some a lot of quick favor to favor. Do their own if they can. Lickerton shot that's been stopped by Hellebuck. Here's McCarr, saved, gloved up by Hellebuck with only 12 seconds in the second period. That's what game one happens. They try to want to answer back. That's what nobody has done, like he did seriously. So I fell out with the puck win. Morrissey with the puck. Now gives to Connor. Connor on his way down to shoot. He's stopped again by Georgiev. And that ends the second period here. Two goals in the game. A big smackdown in between the Avs and the Jets. But we'll find out who will take the goal in the third period. Coming up after this. You're watching the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. Be right back with you shortly. Glad we're happy, happy to be back with you here at Ball Arena. We're about to get started for the third. It has been a wild one in between for the Avs and for the Jets. They've expected that they've been playing it in between, but it looks like they might be finding someone that can definitely do it all. Let's have your take with a recap of how they did in the second period. Well, the hospital mounting is just not very easy enough to take 
all this hard work, it pays off with everything. But you may never see what goes in because they really are trying to work that off and that defensive is putting out a lot of hustle and bounding. They're trying to like do it on their own. This is nothing that they can do. Only two goals made. He scores! What a shot from the car! Back down by one! All you do now is make that shot and what a deep make. He fired it and made it in. That's because McCarr has been doing it. Because after that pass, he's trying to find for help. He looks for room and he's just sending it in. That's a great goal for the Axe. They are back down by one. Only in 1847 to start in the third period as Leverkunen and Ranton and made that assist. Now he will give it over again to shoot. Saved by Georgia. Corner shot. Oh, what a stop by Georgia. 18.31 to go in the third period. As we keep your eyes here in the game, the next one coming up will be at 6 p.m. That will be happen to be here in between the range that will get started in between the Western Conference and the Eastern Conference that will happen to be in between as the Flyers take on against the Hurricanes at PNC Arena. And then the next game that will happen at 10 p.m. It will be the Golden Knights. He scores again! What a shot by O'Connor on the beauty backhand. They now tied it up. That's a great one. With a wild one, you finally tied it up. That's what you do. Just give it up at the go with backhand shot and that deflect right over it. He almost went out that one with the, with the save, but it turned to be a little late. Because that happened to be another goal, we're keeping it up. The Axe are tied up now. As I said before, the next game will happen here for the Hurricanes and Flyers. And then the last game in the first day will be Edmonton Oilers and the Vegas Golden Knights. That's right, because we're only doing the two versus the third seed in the first four days. And then the first seed versus the wildcard team will be happening here on the next day for the next four days of the game. Keep your eyes peeled here only on Son of Beast. Saved again. It goes blocking denied here by Demanson. He battles the puck and now finds Wood. Here's O'Connor. Looking for a room to take over. Here's O'Connor. Now gets again to Gerard. Now find Colin. Knight goes down. Mordecai had that puck. Streaking into the attackers. Mordecai. Look for room. Georgia wants to stop. 16 12 to go in the third, third period. Still tied up. The win puts up for the Jets. Spelling along the puck as McKinnon has it. Here's Rantanen. We'll try to figure out for more help. The save puts up by Golda. Lickerne back again to McKinnon. Chalk blocked. Morrissey has that puck in cover. On the right slide. The Avalanche are back in the offensive territory. Now giving it over to McCarr. In the pickup, look to McKinney. Cleared by Hellebuck. What a great save here for the goaltender for the Jets. As we're nearing down here, we're just passing five minutes in the third period. Wim puts in for the Jets. As Dylan will have it. He finds again the PR. He went down. McKinney has it. He goes to that shot goes blocked. As Pianco will have it again to Dylan. Dylan went down. Monaghan giving it back to Ellers. Ellers on his fast attacker. Shot denied. Now back to Toes on the other way. Gives it over. Again to Rantanen. Now back to McCarr. Kick it along by McKinnon. McKinnon on a two on one fast break. To the Lakota shot. Saved by again the Hellebuck. That's a tricky save. This one keeps on coming if you don't get it slowed down. Tails releases! That one stopped again by Hellebuck and it goes out of here as Lowry will have it. 
you know, the possible is inbounding, and this is like a turnout to be like a pickoff moment and give and go. Here, we're almost going to have that lead off right away. Saved by Hellebuck on a two. Larry pass to Appleton. Appleton, oh, he went down. That big hard one for today because the Jets stumbled down and just took over. I mean, that is like the biggest no one has ever seen it like this. Another stop by the goaltender. Reaching out of zone is by Ram. Johnson shot. Saved by Olibot. Two time stop. Rebound again. Oh my gosh. And it's blocked. What a save by the goaltender. Could have had a chance to lead that game, but it's still denied by Olibot. Oh, he has been crazy right now. Olibot is like living the hell for it. But he's been living, dreaming, just trying to keep that one alive. Here's by Ram, now having to get to Johnson. 11.09 remaining in the third period, looking for a goal to start things off in the first game of the playoffs. Drone in, and it again to Paris. A vice Johansson shot. Trying to lead it, it's denied by Hellebuck. All teams are set, ready for an earth face-off. Nearing the midway mark of the period, it's a tie game by five. Avs wins again, and Pop goes off, and it goes right toward the board, and never saved by Alaba. Two times stop. Mordahan's got it out to Ellers, and it's the Jets will have their possession. Pop almost left his own, as Drogan will have it again. Now find Johnson. Johnson finds Joe Henson. Johansson battling for the puck. I follow recovers it. Battling for the board. Now Johnson will have it. Another crazy impact in for the Avs territory to the Jets territory as Byram will have it. Here's another one for Johansson. Shot. What a side by Albert. Oh my. That was great with the encouragement that the goaltender stopped it becoming to take over the lead. Well, this is what happens now because Connor Alaba really got that one saved earlier. He made it that one crazy enough. He just goes over it and just said, okay, I'll take that. And he sniped it. Not a chance. The passing of mark and the midway mark, it's still a tie game with 9-19 remaining. Johansson wins the faceoff. Johnson and Ellers will have it. Ellers on a 2 on 1 fast break. Shoot! Saved by Giorgio. Here's Sherrod. He will have that puck now. Find the Maurice. Pass again to Johansson. Johansson on a right leg left wing attacker. He went pushed back a little bit. Trying to cover it out. He now finds Manson. Manson shot. And it deflected off the skate, and this one stayed out. Now Lowry will have it. Look for open room to try to shot. Delina is stopped by Giorgiev. Ranson it back the other way, and he goes up with another chain off. Here's Morrissey after the puck has been lifted. And it's Ryder. Pass to Lowry. Lowry on his way down. He goes tumbled in, and it's Ranson in with the recovery. Here they come into the neutral zone, into the offensive zone. Morrissey recovers the puck. Deep it over to Velarde. Moves it across, trying to look for some help. The cut and bump. McCarr's got that puck. Now McKinnon will have it over to Lequinen. Wernton has got that puck into the zone. Get back to McCarr. On a shot. Tumble down as it's stopped again by the goaltender. McCarr, that one's got tricky over as Melibuck gives to Morrissey and now back to the Jets side. Avalanche are back in the offensive territory, bounding again to Wood. That one's broken up as the Melo takes it over. Winnipeg over again. Saved again by Georgia. Millardi battling for the punt. Kicks it out. Dylan in the corner, finds Scheifele. Shot! Take the rebound, this one stopped again by the defender. It's easy calls, it's not easy to make the save. This one keeps on coming. They don't want to defend that. 
Connor recovers the puck and now finding Velarde. Here's the shot. That one deflected off the skater of toes and this goes back over to the outside. Great use of a stick. He goes down. Now Mordohan give it to DeVello. Here's Dillon. That pass broken up. Wood on his way down. He goes down. DeMello has that puck. Fouling for the chain of a loose puck. Leaves his own. And now the abs will clear it out. He finds it to Rantanen. 3.35 left to go in the third period. Looking to get a lead. Shoots. Save the game by Hella Buck. What a big inbound. This is crazy. All you say because of Hella Buck, he's been really keeping it on ever since. You just try to keep it over it, and there's no way that he can defend that. I found looking for more room. And Jorge will have to hold it up here with only 2.50 left to go. Nearing down the end of the regulation, still time. Here's the winner. We go over to Mifo for Nathan McKinnon. I gotta say, for Nathan McKinnon, he's been really going over us from attackers. He's been like putting an unstoppable force. He's been doing a lot of heavy hitting, guys. They're keeping an eye on it on big time. We'll see what he can do if he can keep on playing with more games in between. Over to you, OJ. Save by Hellebuck! On a pit stop here with only 225 in the third. That's what happens because you just gotta cover it up. There's no way you can defend it. That's what you can do to try to cover it in. Off to another win for the Winnipeg Jets. Here's Appleton. Appleton race toward the middle. This one goes back down. Paris has it. Now find Johnson. Over now to Johansson. Recovering the puck back to Byram. And now finding Jonin. He loses the puck and it goes deep in. DeMello has that puck. Winnipeg back in the transition. Finding Morrissey. They went down here. No offside whistle on the Jets. As this one stayed alive for the uh, Colorado Rapids. Here's Hamilton's shot. Save again. He scores. What a lead off for the Dreider. And they have that one in front in the first game of the night. Well, here's what happens. The Dreider got that goal. Keep on going. And here's what happened to Dronin. He didn't really think he was ever going to lift it off. But because that error puts him up, he just got picked off by the, by the blade. Watch that happen. Because what happened to Dronin, it just hit off the blade and then it was skated over and he just made that mistake. A disappointing effort to start things in the first game as the Jets are up by one. Now Dylan will have it. Trying to look for the heavy attackers as well in their last minute of Peters. That shot went wide. Here's Pionk. Shoots! Blood by Jorgian. Now Manson's going to have to cover it up and Ranton's bringing an extra skater on for the man advantage. This is what happens. Do or die. Save by Alibach. Under 30 seconds remaining in the third period. It is still a 6-5 game. The Mile High team are all packed up ready to see what they can do. Now Colin wins the face of it now again to Matt Carr. Shot blocked. Goal rebound. This one gets carried out. O'Connor trying to cover the puck up. Wood to McCarr. Manson shoots. Deflected. Last possession. Shoots again. This one stayed out. Manson shot. Save. And another one for Halbach. And that game is over. Oh, what a big stopping bound for the Jets to start the first game. They win that one. Well, this is what happens. Connor Hellebuck has been going all over it. You don't take advantage to it. You just keep on playing, keep on attacking. A disappointing effort for the Colorado Avalanche, as they already had their first game lost, but they're not done yet. They have more games to come. We'll see them how well they do, and that will be the end of the game. And this is what happens now, because that game turns to be the leadoff score, and this one goes over to one of the best. As you all may remember it, you can tell that Nathan McKinnon does it all. Well, he's really fantastic. Just got to keep that credit in. And now what being said is Winnipeg up in the lead 1-0 over to Colorado. We'll see them back next game after the first game has been completed.
Well, along with me, OJ, Boomer, and Tyler Beast, and a Sunday Rising Meepo, this has been a presentation of the NHL on EA Sports at the Stanley Cup Playoffs. Thanks for tuning in, and have a great day, everybody. All right, OJ, thank you so much. That first game turned to be a terrifying to start up for the Winnipeg Jets. A leadoff score. Time for three star players of the game. Logan O'Connor, he had made a first goal and had four hits in this game. Then the second star goes to Atari Lequidin with a goal assist and four hits. He only made that one early enough to go with the goal, and he took it all. And your first star goes to Caleb McCarr with a first goal, three hit assists, and four hits. They've been running it. They have been dominated over it. They can just try to keep on it going. And here's how they deal with the total statistics in between. 65 over 46 for the total shots on goal. Then it's 60 over 58 for Colorado. 732 over 555 for the Colorado Avalanche. 92 over 88 for Colorado. Then it was 26 faceoff wins for Winnipeg Jets. Two minutes in between the mark. And both had power play goals. 31 seconds for the Jets. And 159 for Colorado. And as for being said, that is the end of the first game of the scene of the day. We'll get back to you shortly for, for tonight's game coming up. The next game that will be happening will be at 3 p.m. as we have the Panthers taking on against the Toronto Maple Leafs at the Amarant Arena. If you're ready for the next game, we'll see what we can do to bring it on with another attackers. See you all for the next game, everybody. And uh, in a couple days, we'll be happening the last four days of the game one right in between the first seed and the wild card teams. Let's find out how they can handle it. With me, Terry Cruz, and this has been a presentation to start with the first day. We'll see you all later in just a bit. See you later, everybody. And peace out, folks, for a while as the NHL 24 on EA Sports Style of the Stanley Cup Playoffs. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.